just want to have a little check of your eyes, your cranial nerves, before we move on because you've been having some headaches. So I'm just going to get you to look at the end of this stick and I'm just going to get you to follow that with your eyes. Fantastic, just checking for normal eye movements, we're looking great. Good. Okay, so just going to feel a little tap just on the elbow here, just let the arm be super heavy. Can you your toes for me? Let your head really drop. Alright, nice to see you again, Melissa. Nice to see you again. How have you been? Good, yeah. I've how's, been good. how's the neck been feeling? I don't know what's different, but it feels way better this month. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah it's been exactly well, just short of a month since I've seen you, so that's good to hear. Um, have you got any pain at all today? Today? I really haven't. No pain at all? No. Yeah. Okay, well, what we'll do today is we'll check you out. We'll just see how everything is compared to last time. If we need to do any treatment, we'll do some treatment. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to give you some exercises to do today as well going forward because I shouldn't need to see you again. Oh, okay. Um, have you had any symptoms in the last month? So any neck pain flare-ups, any headaches, any migraines? Um, I've had some headaches, but I don't think it's related okay. at all. Um, and I can think of maybe like one instance where I had the pain along here, but I'd been editing all day, so like okay. at the at the desk, so all I right, it's just pushing it forward it's too much. Were you using a mouse? Yeah, and I have a tendency to kind of like lean like this. You mentioned this before, yeah. yeah. So just the one flare up. Yeah, flare up. that I can remember. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Okay, and then talk to me about these headaches. Where rats on your head are they landing? Of like mm, near like this bit. Sometimes I get them around my eye, but it wasn't that. It was more like the front side. Yeah, frontal headache. Yeah. yeah. And when was that? Um, maybe about a week or so. Or so ago. Okay. Okay. And you don't have any visual changes with that? You, no. No double no. vision. Yeah. No. And just to check, in the last month, have you had any fainting? No. No, any dizziness? No. No, any trouble speaking, swallowing? No. No, and any numbness in the arms at all, any pins and needles, nothing like that, so no radiation is good. Mm -hmm. Okay, what we'll do then in that case, I'll get you to pop your trainers off and I'll get you just to take a seat on the bench and we'll check you out. Thank you. If you just take a seat on the bench, me please, Melissa. Okay, so we're gonna just start by having just a look at your posture, and then we're gonna run through a few of the tests that we did in our first session, just to see how you are compared to that first session, and then we'll get in with some treatment if it's needed. So I'm just gonna take your hair across to one side there. Okay. And when you had your flare up, you said it was on the left. It's, it's down here. It's on, on that right side. Yeah. Okay. Okay, just take a look to the left of me, please. Good. And to the right. Great, do that once more. Just take a look to the left. And to the right. Good. Okay, then just come back to the middle. I'm just going to take your head just across to one side there. That feels okay? Yeah. No pain in the right there? No. Fab. And then we'll come across to the left. That feels okay? Yeah. Yeah, cool. And you just look up to the ceiling. All feeling okay there? Yeah. yeah. And then down to the floor. Good. Fantastic. And come back up. That's all feeling all right. Good. Okay. Can I just get you to take your arms all the way up to the sky like this for me? No pain there at all? No, it is not Cracking. <laughs> is, it, is that in the shoulders? I don't know where that came from. Yeah, I think it's there. In the right shoulder, okay. Just take your arms out to the side of me for thumbs up. So just bring your arms slightly forward. Now I'm going to get you to keep your arms like that. I'm just going to press on your arms. Can you stop me pressing the arms down? Okay. Does that feel painful at all? No. no. And let's do thumbs down to the floor. Stop me pushing the arms down. Any pain there? No. That feels okay, you just pop your arms down. I'm just going to get you to take that right arm across and you're just going to lift it up towards your head. Does that feel painful at all? No, it's just a stretch. It's just a good stretch. Where are you feeling that stretch? Uh, here. Through the tricep, okay. Take that arm down. All right. Can 
Can I just get you to round your spine all the way forward, please? Just going to curve all the way down. Do let me know if anything feels painful or tender as we go through these movements. That's looking good. Come on. I'm just going to get you to look up to the ceiling. So this time you're going to push your chest forward, so you're kind of arching your back there. That feels okay? Yeah. Good. And then come back to the middle there. I'm just going to rotate you round to the right. Feels okay? Yeah. Cool. And then to the left there. Feels alright, I'm just going to do that once from on the right. Not as much movement on the right there. I'm just going to put a little pressure there. Does that feel okay? Yeah. A bit painful. Least favourite. Least favourite so far. Where about painful though. Where about so you feeling tender there? It's like back here. Yeah, in the back of the shoulder. Yeah. Okay. It, in this sort of region here. Yeah. Or a little bit more out to the side here. Uh, can I do it again? Yeah. <laughs> so if I'm pressing here. Yeah. Oh, in this sort of region. Oh, that bit's what we call it. Yeah. More towards the shoulder. Yeah, okay. that bit. All right, I'm just going to get you to come here, and we'll put a little pressure here. No pain now? Yeah, this side's fine. Fine, okay. So you're feeling quite tender in here. Yeah, that's weird. I never noticed it was, like, further out. Uh -huh. I kept thinking it was the end of it. But that feels fine when you touch the end of it. Okay, I'm just going to take this off. That's okay. I'm just going to take this forward and I'm just going to internally rotate you there. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I'm going to try and just push this arm down. Can you try and stop me? Okay. So I'm going to push it down, try and resist me. Is that a bit sore there? Uh, no. That feels fine. Good. Okay. Just want to check the reflexes in your arms. But you've not had no pain down that arm there? No. No? Fantastic. Okay, so I'm just going to feel a little tap just on the elbow here. Just let the arm be super heavy. Arm drop there, really heavy. Fine, okay. And I just want to have a little check of your eyes, your cranial nerves, before we move on because you've been having some headaches. So I'm just going to get you to look at the end of this stick and I'm just going to get you to follow that with your eyes. Fantastic, just checking for normal eye movements, we're looking great. Good. Nice. And you just do a really happy face for me. I just want to make sure all the, perfect, all the facial muscles are working, a really sad face. Fine. <laughs> That's all good. Everything's working in that department. You haven't had any hearing changes, any ringing in your ears, nothing like that. No. Perfect. All right. I'm going to get you to lie down on your back, please. So your head is going to be here, feet's going to be that end. You're going to be looking up to the ceiling. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to start by just having a little feel of your pulses in your wrist, and then we're going to come back to some movements through your arms. I'm just going to have a little feel of those pulses there. It's fine. All healthy. Okay. All right. And I'm just going to try and stress the nerves in the arms now, just to see if we can irritate anything up through the shoulder or actually in the arm itself. So I'll put your arms in some different positions. If you have any numbness, tingling, or pain, can you let me know? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any pain there at all? No. Mm -hmm. Stretch. Stretch. And the last time that you came in, you'd been doing, I think it was the Wii Fit room. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, the game where you like, it's almost like Wii Fit, yeah. Yeah, have you been doing any other kind of exercise the last few I weeks? I did a bit of that last week, but not since about, yeah, about a week now I haven't okay. done it. And how's that been on the Wii Fit? Has that been painful? No, I'm really enjoying it, it's but really I, I don't think it's, it overexerts me very much. Like, I'm not yeah. doing it hardcore. Did that all feel okay? Yeah, it all yeah. feel fine. Yeah, sure, it all fine. <laughs> okay, I'm glad to, feel, to hear that the wee fit is no longer <laughs> causing you any pain. Okay, just going to extend that arm out there. I'm just going to put a little pressure here. Does that feel okay? Yeah, it feels fine. No tenderness there? No. Okay. And then I'll we'll just take this arm. Any pain now? No. Okay. Oh, just turn all the nerves on. That feels fine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Can I just get you just to kick up your left leg to the ceiling, please? Okay. Any pain at all with that one? No. Yeah. Just gonna try on this leg in a little bit more. If it feels painful, let me know. Okay. You're feeling a bit of a stretch there already. Yeah. yeah. I'm not very flexible. That's all good. Okay. I'm just going to bend that knee and I'm just going to do some movements through the hip, okay? I'm just checking for normal hip movement. It's pretty good. 
some flexibility there. That's good. Okay, that's fine. So if you keep this a little bit up for me as well. That feels okay? Yeah. Good. And you do the same thing on this side. No pain there at all. Mm -hmm. A little bit more movement on that side. Yeah, I can really feel it. Mm -hmm. It's easier. Yeah. Do you ever do any sports as a kid, like any dancing or anything? Um, I did ballet as a kid. Yeah. Like that lens, lens as a, to have one side that's a little bit more flexible than the other sometimes. Uh, I never knew that. You just lift your head up. Not always, but... As I also did ballet as a child and um, for quite a long time and I feel like you know you always have one side that you show off on a bit more. Yes, yeah. I'm not sure if pro ballerinas would say that. But <laughs> show on both sides. Definitely was a pro. <laughs> Just going to be having a little feel of how the facet joints are moving in your neck so if any of these feel particularly tender can you let me know? Yeah. That's feeling, are you feeling any tightness there? A little bit tender, but nowhere near as much as last time. Okay. Yeah, a bit there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How have you been going with um, carrying the tripod on the left hand side? I've been doing it on the right a bit, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the right side of your neck is quite tight today. <laughs> it's definitely more restrictions on the right hand side which is interesting because last time when you came in you've been carrying your tripod on the left hand side we have more restrictions here so it's just today a tripod, it's the, <laughs> the tripods influencing uh, the movement in your neck somewhat we could say yeah I just, yeah like one day i just was like oh i'll hold it on the right today to balance it out and then yeah. i forgot to move back to the left let's try and keep switching it yeah it's amazing what a difference it makes. Though. I'm going to check out the rest of your back before we start with any adjustments. So I'm going to get you to roll onto your front, please. Okay, just come back a little bit. Perfect. You comfy there? Yeah. yeah. I'm just checking out your overall posture. You see we've got a very, very slight shift of the pelvis to the right, which is not a problem. Likely just from the way you've been sitting or carrying your tripods today. If I just press on the pelvis there, are you having any tenderness there on the left? No. no. And on the right? A bit more than the left, but it okay. doesn't hurt. Good. I'm just going to bend up your legs. Feels okay there? Yeah. Yeah. Can you please push your feet into my hands to try and push me away? Brilliant. Very nice and strong. Try and kick your heels towards your bum. Good, nice, straighten out your legs. Kick your feet outwards into my hands. Good. Kick your feet inwards. Brilliant, good, nice and strong. Okay. So tender there at all? Um, I don't think so. through here, still feeling good? Um, a bit more turned than the back area was. Mm -hmm. okay. Alright then, let's just have a little feel of the scapula here. Let's bring your hand onto your lower back palm up. Oops. It's going to get you just to relax this arm down there. Does that feel okay? Yeah. yeah. That all feels fine there. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's a bit tender it's there. Tender there. Yeah. Okay. So I'm feeling some of the rotator cuff muscles and tendons here. And I think this might be a slightly irritated, again, maybe from the tripod, maybe from general posture, from even sleeping or walking, etc. And any tenderness up through here? Yeah, quite a lot, actually. It's tender. Okay. I do sleep quite curled up on my side, if that makes a difference. On your right side or on your left side? 
both. Both sides? Yeah. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm just pressing in here, what's, what's the pain level? Um, right now it's like zero. Okay. It was probably like a four or something a minute ago. Okay. It? Just sit yourself up, please. Okay, so what I would like to do today is an adjustment in each part of the spine. So we have some right-sided neck restrictions, mm -hmm. some left-sided upper thoracic restrictions, as well as actually some of the ribs on the right-hand side are a little bit restricted. Nothing to be concerned about. Okay. They're just not moving as fully as we would want. And then on the right side of the pelvis as well. So we're just looking to get everything moving a little bit better today, if you're happy mm -hmm. for me to do that. Yeah. We won't do any adjustments that you haven't done before, okay. but um, we'll start with the mid-back, we'll do the lower back, and then we'll move up to the neck. If anything feels sore, if anything feels painful, you need me to stop. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, let yeah. me know. We can okay. stop at any point, okay? Yeah. And then once we've done the adjustments, I'm just going to retest a few things and we'll go from there. Okay. Okay? Thank you. So we'll start with the mid-back. I'll get you led back on your front, please. Alright, so the first adjustment that we're going to do is going to be through here. Kind of T5, T45 region. I'm going to create a little bit of pressure through here like that. I'll get you to take a breath in and then on your breath out we'll do a fast impulse through the joint. If you need to stop at any point, as I said before, just let me know. Okay. Okay, take a nice big deep breath in and a breath out. I feel okay? Yeah. Can, you, can I do that a little bit lower? Yep, yeah. of course. Just a few segments below, just here. Take a nice big deep breath in. And a breath out. That one felt all right too? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna do one just a little bit higher if that's all right. Okay, and then we'll just check out the ribs. And a breath out. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so there's not going to be an adjustment now, but I'm going to get you to take a really nice big deep breath in, fill your lungs up with air. That's better. And breath out. Just checking for the movement of the ribs there. Fantastic. Okay. So if you just rest your hands onto the headpiece for me. That's it, and then just rest your forehead onto your hands. Is that comfortable? Yeah. Yeah? So we're going to lift up the right side, we're going to lift up the centre part of the bench there, and then we'll drop it down, and I'm going to put a little bit of pressure through the side of the pelvis there, just to okay. kind of move it, okay? And we'll make quite a little banging sound. <laughs> I'm going to do that again if that's okay. Yeah. So I'm going to feel just a little push through the right side of the pelvis there. Yeah. All right. That feels okay? This is really nice. It feels really nice. I'm yeah. just going to do that once more if that's okay. Yeah. Relax 
to the head. Not the toes for me. Let your head really drop. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm wiggling the toes that really help. <laughs> so good. Can I do the same on the right, just in a slightly different spot? Yeah. yeah. When you're moving, I can already feel how much it's released. Good. I feel quite tender there yeah. still, yeah. yeah. That's where we're going for now. Love the difference between the two sides. Just let your head drop really heavy. Fantastic. Really let it go. Super relaxed, relax this muscle. Go on with the toes. Relax this muscle. Melissa. You just sit on this blue part. Okay, okay so I'm just going to reach just a few movements, okay? Can I get you to have a look to the left, please? And to the right. Good, and then come back to the middle. Good, and then take your head across to the side there. That feels okay? Yeah. Yeah, and then across to the other side. That feels alright? That's good. Good, okay. And if I just press in here, are you still getting a bit of tenderness here? No. That feels so, that feels okay now. Yeah. Is that the bit that was tender earlier? Yeah. That's so weird. Yeah, no, I don't feel it at all. Okay, good. So this may still be a little bit susceptible to being a bit tender and being right. a bit irritated. So this is what I want to give you some exercises for. And these are more okay. preemptive exercises. So they're not so important that you need to do them every single day. Just a couple of times a week, okay. three times a week would be fab. Yeah. If you could add these in just so that we're keeping the shoulders really, really strong for being pulled by the tripods, <laughs> okay? So do you have one of these at home? Uh, no. No, you can get one off or somewhere like just a, it's a resistance band oh uh, okay a rubber one right okay. and do you have a banister at home like on the stairs no no <laughs> maybe a part of the balcony yeah like a balcony or basically you want to be able to hook this around anything now i'm saying hook it around anything it's not actually anything here i could hook it on to show you the exercise i'm going to send you through in an email as well but a banister would be fat basically you okay. want to hook this around something and i'm going to show you the exercise on this left arm okay and imagine my right arm is a banister <laughs> okay so what you're going to do is you're simply going to open the door so yeah not too tight through that resistance, it doesn't want to feel like a full-on workout and you're sweating, but we're going to open the door, keep your elbow glued towards your ribs, and then slowly bring it back, okay? Okay. All right, and then you're going to put the resistance band on the other side, so it'll be on the banister over there, and you're also going to close the door. So on each arm, you want to do 12 to 15 opening of the door, 12 to 15 closing of the door, and you can do up to three sets. But it's just going to help to strengthen the rotator cuff muscles, which are part of the shoulder, so that when you're carrying your tripod, everything's just a little bit stronger through there, because they seem a little bit irritated through the right side today when right. you've been carrying that tripod. Okay. So not a matter of urgency to do these exercises, but I think a good preemptive measure for carrying tripods around London. Okay, yeah, that sounds great. And if you can carry on with the upper trap stretches that we've given you, yeah. and little bit of scap stretches and taking regular breaks at work, that would be great. Okay. Otherwise, I don't need to see you regularly because the pain is pretty much gone, yeah. uh, but you know where we are if you need us. Thank you so much. That's all right. Thank Take you. care. <laughs> Bye.